Fitzpatrick scale type 1. Type 1 individuals have very pale white skin, often classified as being ivory. Now this skin is extremely sensitive, it always burns and it never tans. A good example is a redhead with green or blue eyes and freckles. Type 1 candidates rarely suffer from keloid scarring, hyper or hypopigmentation, and typically respond really, really well to fibroblast treatments, making them the prime candidate for a plasma fibroblast session. Type 2 individuals have white skin that is very sensitive, it burns easily and tans minimally. An example of a type 2 individual is someone who is fair skinned with fair hair, light coloured eyes and are of northern or western Caucasian European descent. Again, any concerns with scarring, keloid scarring, hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation are minimal, with level 2 also being prime candidates for plasma fibroblast. Type 3 Type 3 individuals typically have medium white to olive coloured skin, dark hair and hazel or green eyes. They generally have sensitive skin that rarely burns and tans to a light brown or a deeper olive shade. Type 3 candidates are also seen as conducive to plasma fibroblast treatments, with the risk of hypo and hyperpigmentation and scarring being minimal. Okay, so now we're moving on to type 4. Type 4 individuals typically have a mid-brown to a moderate brown skin tone with dark hair and brown eyes. They have mildly sensitive skin that burns minimally and tans to a moderate brown. Type 4 skin types are prone to melanin overproduction, which can lead to an uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation. Targeted skin preparation and sun avoidance both before and after a treatment are highly recommended to help prevent any scarring, hyperpigmentation or issues with healing. Type 5 Type 5 individuals have dark brown skin that rarely burns and tans very easily. They also have naturally dark brown to black hair and dark brown to black eyes. Type 5 skin reacts differently to types 1 to 4. This is because types 5 and 6 on the Fitzpatrick scale have a far superior bed of collagen within the skin. These skin types also have fibroblasts that are much larger, more numerous and far more active than the other four levels. While this bounty of collagen and fibroblasts give type 5 and type 6 individuals healthier, more youthful looking skin for far longer than types 1 to 4, it also increases the risk of keloid scar formation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and uneven lightening or darkening of the skin. Type 6 Type 6 individuals will have very dark brown or black skin, dark hair and dark eyes. And when exposed to the sun, they almost never burn. However, as with type 5 skin types, type 6 skin types may produce less pigmentation, which could possibly result in hyperpigmentation and an increased risk of keloid scar formation. 